Good morning, fans. Today we're going to talk about the Hall of Fame and what realistic chances Dick Allen may have to be elected to the Hall of Fame in the upcoming few years. Changes made to the Baseball Hall of Fame committee system may lead to the enshrinement of more modern players, but whether that will include Dick Allen is an open question. There are two ways that a baseball player can be elected to the Hall of Fame. The first is by eligible voters of the Baseball Writers Association of America. Players become eligible five years after their retirement and stay on the ballot so long as they receive 5% of the vote. In a year when a player receives less than 5% of the vote, that player drops off the ballot and can no longer be considered by the writers. The second way that a player can be considered for the Hall of Fame is through the Hall's committee system, which used to be known as the Veterans Committee. The Veterans Committee can consider more than simply the players who have fallen off the writer's ballot, but can also consider executives, umpires, and managers. In 2010, the Baseball Hall of Fame gave more structure to the committee system. Instead of one Veterans Committee, the Hall divided it into three era committees. They were the pre-integration era from 1871 to 1946, the golden era from 1946 through 1972, and the expansion era from 1973 to the present. The Hall's Historic Overview Committee would prepare a slate of candidates from the time period represented by that year's era committee. The committee would then vote on which, if any, candidates would be enshrined in the Hall of Fame. To be successful, a candidate needed three-quarters of the committee members' votes. After two cycles of the era committees in 2016, the Hall of Fame once again altered its structure. The eras are now divided into four. Early Baseball, 1871 through 1949, Golden Days, 1950 through 1969, Modern Baseball, 1970 through 1987, and Today's Game, 1988 onward. The rotation was also changed so that each committee did not meet at the same frequency. Last year, for example, the Today's Game committee met during the winter meetings. This year, the Modern Baseball committee will meet. After that, the Today's Game Committee will meet again, and then the year following that, the Modern Game Committee will meet again. In the 2020 Winter Meetings, the Golden Days and the Early Baseball Committees will meet. That will be followed by four years when the Today's Game and the Modern Baseball Committees will alternate, and then finally, the Golden Days Committee will meet again. The Hall of Fame adopted this system because there was criticism that modern players were being underrepresented in the Hall. Players like Alan Trammell and Mark McGuire have fallen off the writer's ballot. This structure will give those players a greater opportunity to be considered for enshrinement. One of the consequences is that people who made contributions to the game prior to 1949 will only receive consideration every 10 years. This means people like Doc Adams and Harry Stovey, who were last considered in the 2015 winter meetings, will not be considered again until 2020. This may not be such a big deal. In the two times that the Pre-Integration Committee met since 2010, nobody from the early days of baseball was elected to the Hall of Fame. Perhaps having the committee with responsibility for the early days meet with far less frequency will create greater nostalgia and greater pressure to elect one or two of baseball's early pioneers to the Hall. Of course, the dividing line between the different eras are arbitrary. There will be players whose career spanned more than one era. The Hall of Fame answer to this dilemma is that the players are to be considered in the era where they made their greatest contribution. But that may be a subjective call and stir up more controversy. Consider, for example, the case of Dick Allen. Dick Allen won the Rookie of the Year award with the Phillies in 1964. He played with the Phillies until 1969 and was elected to the All-Star Game three times. The Phillies traded Allen to St. Louis in 1970. In 1971, Allen played with the Dodgers. From 1972 through 1974, Allen played with the Chicago White Sox. In 1975 and 1976, Allen returned to the Phillies, and then in 1977, Allen ended his career with the Oakland Athletics. He played in the eras that would both be covered by the Golden Days and modern baseball committees. But during the 1970s, Allen made four All-Star appearances, won the AL MVP award in 1972 with the Chicago White Sox, and led the American League in home runs in 1972 and 1974. Arguably, then, Allen's greatest contribution to the game came during the 1970s when he had more All-Star appearances and when he won an MVP award. Allen was last considered for the Hall of Fame in 2014 when the Golden Era Committee met. He missed election by a single vote. He was slated to be considered again in the 2017 winter meetings. However, that is when the Hall of Fame changed its structure. Instead of having the Golden Era Committee meet, the newly formed Today's Era Committee met and elected former Commissioner Bud Selig. Could Dick Allen be considered by the Modern Baseball Committee this winter? There is still an argument over whether that will happen. 
Last year, Jeff Idelson, the Hall's president, was quoted as saying that Allen's best years were with the Phillies during the 1960s. If the Hall were to stick to that position, then Allen would not be considered for election until 2020, when the Golden Days era meets again. Of course, to the cynical eye, it is no coincidence that the Hall of Fame changed its committee structure last year when sycophants could still fawn over the candidacy of Bud Selig one year after his retirement, thereby ensuring his election to the Hall of Fame while cheating Allen out of another opportunity. The Hall could make amends by recognizing that his era structure is arbitrary and that Allen did make major contributions during the 1970s, thereby rendering him eligible for Hall of Fame election this year by the Modern Game Committee.